new GoPro. Oh, you got it? Yeah. What's the difference between that one and this one has a uh, kind of stabilization? Oh, really? So yeah. there's vibrations and all that? Yeah. <laughs> I got so spoiled with the Lexus, bro. Oh, yeah. If you start off with the Lexus, you're gonna be like, everything makes noise. Yeah. 
I'll let you ride in my car again. <laughs> You'll be like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> walk around of Lorenzo's car. <laughs> Put the other wheels on again because I, I don't like how much it 
rubs. But the other wheels, it rubs like zero, bro. Wait, what are the specs on the other wheels? Uh, I believe the front ones are 14 by 8, negative 15 around there. Mm. And I know the rears are like four, uh, 14 by 8 and a half, negative, I think it's like 6. With the with the August wheels, I don't rub at all. Even on like really sharp turns and everything. And with the watts, I unfortunately do. Yeah, the watts are aggressive. Oh, I thought you got a U-turn. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> Breaking in the diff with uh, the other time. Oh. I still have the sheet here. Because it calls for like figure eights and stuff. What the heck? Well, <laughs> not like actual like drifting figure eights, but I started doing oh, them and do I did them for like eights? F five to ten minutes. Really? And then I just started fucking doing donuts and stuff. It was so fun. I should test drive your car to see how 1.5 feels. Dude, it feels like... People like, are saying uh, like two ways, like, eh, it's not that much of a difference. I noticed, I, I heard that a lot of people, um, they hear like some noises with different brand LSDs, like Cusco and all that, yeah. while turning, but this diff doesn't make any noise, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Besides, there, was, there was this guy, his name is uh, Ty Pham. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has the uh, Cusco two-way, but he got it, like, super cheap off of eBay auctions for, like, $400. Oh, yeah, that is cheap. And then it was just, like, a rare once-in-a-lifetime deal or whatever. He said he couldn't find it again. But he's, he was, like, it, it felt better than a welded diff. Well, he said it's pretty much like a welded diff, but it's noisier than a welded diff. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the only noise that I've heard from the LSD so far. You hear it? Right yeah. there. Yeah. And that's that's as loud as it'll really get. Uh, uh, I'm actually gonna go back to the park dude so you can drive it on that long road. There's a little bit uh, of curviness to it. So uh, you can feel the LSD and see if you'd no, be interested on it's, that. It's fine. Five. You sure? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Because I want you to feel it because uh, <laughs> since you're about to buy one so. Have you decided on what gear ratio you want? Uh, no, I'm sticking to like the 4.3. Four, 4.3? Three. Four, three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just know that around uh, like at 70 miles per hour, you'll be cruising at 4,000. Yeah, I know. So that, that's the average. That's what I was uh, struggling to find out when I went, uh, when I was looking for gear ratios. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, wait, what was yours before? I didn't have a speed, but it was oh. you know, about the same, really. Yeah, because uh, that's what I have now for stock 4.3. Yeah, because what I was heavily considering was 4.1, just for the longer gears and stuff for highway and stuff. Oh, yeah. But I, I just like kind of like the little bit of torquiness from the 4.3. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine like four seven, dude. Yeah, it's mainly it's mainly for like the the track guys. Yeah, like strictly track at that point. Yeah, because I don't think you can actually daily a car with a four seven. Or you, if you're crazy enough, you can. Yeah, Vincent and his race car has <laughs> like he has a four seven as well, and it's just he's like. Everyone on the track is like, man, your car is quick. And he's like, no, nah, it's just the gear ratio. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, Leonard, I think on the on the 11, he also has a 4.7. Oh, what? Yeah, because I remember he took me for a quick test drive. That thing feels quick, dude. Wait, which car? The 11, the white one. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that thing feels pretty quick, man. Oh, Jesus. No way it has a 4.7. I believe he does, if I remember correctly. That would suck. But I can't remember if he also has that extended gear or not. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, it was close here. Um, I had to go back over there. It's crazy when it floods. You're like driving along West Park, uh, West Park, West Timer Parkway, mm -hmm. and then you're like seeing like the water is like almost at the road. Yeah, dude. Like the the only thing above level is like actual road. Yeah, and everything else yeah. was sunk. In. I know. Now it's going down a little bit because I remember a few days ago I was test driving around this area too. Yeah. And that whole parking lot was pretty much sunk in. Yep. Wait, you said the uh, the watts are more aggressive or less aggressive? Sorry? The watts are more aggressive or yeah, less aggressive? More aggressive dude. They are? Yeah, by a whole inch. Whole inch and oh. way more aggressive offsets too. Wait, are these the same tires or different? Uh, They're the same as the rear, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you look at my August wheels, these are the Haida tires. Oh, okay. On, on eBay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder how these strip. They're a little bit on low on the air. I actually want to find out too. These uh, look like, um, what's it called? What's the other one? 595. Oh, the Federals? Yeah, these yeah. look like Federals. Yeah, they do. Uh, so what I, I'm going to do is, um, hopefully at the end of this month, I'll get maybe two uh, sets of these because they're pretty cheap, dude. They're like 60 bucks each tire or something like that. Yeah. So I'll get like two sets and practice a little bit. Take it to the to that spot that they always take it from. Is this Lorenzo's hatch? What seats are these? Recaro LLB, I think they are. Recaro LLB. With the gradient. And what brackets did you use? Uh, let me try to remember. <laughs>
Wait, is it universal or? No, it's specific for these cars. I forgot the name of the brand, but uh, they didn't fit that great, honestly, dude. I had to drill out a bunch of um, material off the holes to make them fit properly. Oh, okay. And yeah, but I got them to work. I mean, no complaints right now since it's pretty sturdy and everything. Mm. And it's, you know, like a slider. So that's the main reason why I got them because I wanted it to slide. I didn't want like a set uh, seating position. Mm -hmm. Almost full interior. <laughs> I'll grab this rod. JSP shifter, short shifter. Tom's racing wheel, NRG quick release and hub. Wait, what is this panel? It says speed control off on set rest. Oh, that's supposed to be for cruise control, but it's not actually set up for anything, dude. Like, I mean, it's it's just on there for the looks right oh. now. Like even the connector is disconnected. Yeah, because mine is just a cubby. Yeah, that's what I need. <laughs> I'm trying to see if somebody would trade it, this thing for like a regular cubby. Just, I can give uh, Kevin mine and then he can print one. <laughs> there you go. He has the aim dash. What is this? What size is this? This 7 inch one? 7 inch. The MXG? MXG. Okay. Lorenzo has the same engine, um, JSP parts, mounts, upper, bottom, water neck, coil rad, beam swap, radiator, and fan. It's just colored or sprayed black. And Dream Maker headers from one. What engine mount bushings are these? Uh, those are OEM. Just OEM? Yeah. OEM, uh, they're not the TRD ones. The TRD ones are slightly more stiffer. Uh, yeah, I need a switch. <laughs> what about the uh, transmission mount? Uh, that's also OEM. Wait, OEM? Uh, yeah. Or I forgot. Because uh, they can use. I have the W58 ones. Oh yeah. That also work. Out. I just got a, a a part number reference from somewhere and I ordered it. Mm. It, it might be OEM to the J160 or it might be from something else. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Wiring was done by Bermuda. Yeah, Bermuda. And it is connected through a... How is it connected again? It's a mil-spec harness, so it has the, the mil-spec connectors at the very bottom down there. And he just recently plugged, I mean, plugged his, uh, put together his wiper motor. And he's on NS, NX suspension, front and rear. Uh, the rear is true coilovers. Yeah, true rear. <laughs> um, front, 8K springs. And the rear, or originally I did go with a 6K spring, but that was too stiff for my liking. So I downed a little bit. So it's at a 5K and I would say that's perfect for a Corolla like this because, you know, it has versatility to track and even daily it. I daily the car and it feels pretty smooth. Wait, but did they swap it or no, you I had to buy it? Yeah, I had to buy it separately. Yeah, I asked them if they would be willing to and they were like, eh, not really. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just go ahead and buy it. And I installed them, dude, and it's a huge, huge, huge difference. Nice. So, yeah, it feels good. But then again, I mainly went with a 5K because you see the ride height, it's very low. So uh, that's about as um, high of a spring rate that you want to do if you want to keep comfortability. Wait, what was it again? The 5K springs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Oliver. <laughs> but um, it is a... Uh, it's, it's pretty nice if if you don't really care to be low you could go as low as like 4k springs 
and all that but I'm a bit of a smooth brain so I like being low <laughs> <laughs> So I think the rear bumper is Koki, JDM? Yeah, JDM bumper. Okay. So front and rear Koki, I think. Yeah. You sold your Zenki for a Koki, right? Yeah. Wait, was it a trade or uh, did you just buy it? Trade. Yeah, with the brackets and everything. Wait, who'd you get it from? It, it was this guy, where was it, in Dallas, I believe? Oh, you went to Dallas to trade it or? Yeah. We, we met halfway though. Oh, okay. So, um, what I ended up doing is just powder coating the brackets and all that stuff just to kind of bring it back to better than original quality type. But, yeah, I mean, I got the Expert Oz uh, front lights. Oh. And the corner ones are just, you know, yeah. corner ones, OEM. Oh. I still have the orange uh, lenses that came with, but I, I just like the, yeah. the clear ones. Mm. And recently we did the the diff. It's now 1.5 in the rear. Um, done by Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey race prep over in I think it's like Tomball area. Yeah, Tomball, I think. Really cool guy, pretty knowledgeable about everything. It was super quick turnaround. Like uh, I told you, it was about a week, I think. Yeah. So, not even a week, dude. It's it's really not that hard. <laughs> he just needs like a, a day just yeah. to do it. Cause um, I took it to him Monday and I went to pick it up Friday. Mm, he has an AW11 steering rack. Um, what was it again? Excessive shaft. Yeah, I believe. Hmm. Excessive or T3, one of the two. Oh, okay. It's been a long time. Yeah. So, you can kind of see it down there. Oh, sh why is the car rolling? Oh, my handbrake is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it up here. Wait, did I even put it up? Uh, I did put it up. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, weird. <laughs> it doesn't have that much tension on the rear brake for some reason. I think I have to adjust it still. Oh, okay. It's just like mine then. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you, you remember that little play? If you want, you can use the flashlight too if you need to point out a certain things. It's too bright though, so. Yeah, it's bright. It's super bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a pretty nasty oil leak right now though. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, it's kind of saturated. <laughs> I haven't cleaned it though, so it's, that that's how much it's leaked since I uh, swapped over to this engine from the last one. But it's not like a bad leak. No, it's not bad, but I want to fix it regardless. Huh? I'll yeah. fix it in the next two weeks. I got the part already, so I still just have to do the labor. Yep. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> the little rear breeze fab links. You can probably see them from down there somewhere. Wait, what color are yours? Here. Uh, they're just the silver ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're just the, the normal, uh, non powder coated ones. E. I have half poly and half time, so the ones on the chassis are time. Oh. Uh, the ones on the chassis are poly, and the ones on the actual axle are. What what pan hard bar do you have? Also the breeze fab. Yeah. Oh okay. So there, are, I pretty much have the whole breeze fab uh, <laughs> set up in the rear. It's pretty nice. Lots of adjustability. I've been thinking about getting the uh, the rear. Uh, rear reinforcement reinforcement for the for the for the shock one? tower. Oh, okay. For the shock tower. Who who sells them? Breeze Fab. Oh yeah. Yeah. He 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 did a batch again, and if you run that, you can um. You have to weld it onto the chassis though, right? Yeah. And that's something you would have to uh cut and fab up. Yeah, that's the thing. 
I don't, I don't know how I feel about. I don't think it's hard, uh, but I wouldn't do it to you. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, dude. I mean, I would probably do it just to reinforce it. Yeah. But, and I mean, I don't really ever plan on selling those cars, so it's not like I care about the value. Yeah, yeah. Once I get this uh, carpet out of here, you can have it. What carpet? The, the one that's currently under the bottom one, because I cleaned the original one. Oh, this one? Yeah. It's a bit dirty, but nice. it's just... The the one that I have, it's an aftermarket one. It doesn't fit that great. Dude, your paint is nice. Yeah. Dude, when you when you uh, ceramic coat it, mm -hmm. it will look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look brand new, probably. Yeah. I would probably have to cut, buff, and all that stuff first. I have to get some of the little scratches and stuff out. Uh, yeah, you would have to do the normal, um, yeah. normal whatever, first and then do the uh the uh the ceramic coating it's just basically um wax yeah, yeah. so the water kind of just slides off and everything yeah. i need to do it in the engine bay bad dude <laughs> I mean, nobody cares about the engine bay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome glass and all that i was driving with rain for a fat minute man even during storms but it's such a pain in the ass dude yeah i i can obviously see but it only clears up after like once you're going like 30 to 40 miles an hour. But before that, you're pretty much blind. <laughs> yeah. All right, show us this uh, Koki S14. Yeah. The S14 is pretty nice. I know he has the ISR uh, coil over. He has some ISR adjustable suspension on the rear, some what is it the the bottom control arms are for pvm also with the uh he doesn't have adjustable uh tension rods just yet but he will get them eventually we just put a new rack in here uh did a bunch of maintenance on it oil pan gasket uh i still have to do the valve gasket because i want to powder coat it for him mm. can't remember if it's a replica or not but it, it's a pretty uh tastefully modded s14 yeah <clears throat> some big ass wheels he still wants me to lower it a little bit more so <laughs> i'm gonna lower uh, it just a bit more and roll the fenders uh just go through the car a little bit eventually i'll have to do uh subframe bushings and fix some some other stuff that he has going on mm. but the car is perfectly fine i mean it drives and everything ac uh, no AC, he has a, a pretty nasty piece that I have to also address. God, he wants to go lower? Yeah, literally. That exhaust is <laughs> yeah, not gonna be, it's not gonna survive. He told me he was gonna order a new one, so I guess we'll see when he orders it. Yeah. It's a pretty decent car though. Yeah, uh, he also has a welded dip, so it really is a drift. Shit! He just has to take it to, to the actual track. It came with it or? This is, I believe, a, a Kuki uh, lights on the rear because the, the, the Zenki ones are different. Yeah, I think so. Uh, pretty, pretty nice little car, man. I've driven it a few times. It's really fun to drive. I did his alignment too. He's running negative three camber in the rear and negative four in the front. I have more camber in my front than him. <laughs> Wait, what camber? How much camber do you have? Uh, negative 5.2. I, I, I reduced it a bit. It was an extra degree before, so it was at <laughs> negative 6 before, and now it's at 5.2. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I yeah, only, it's, it's pretty aggressive, dude. I only have like minus 2.5 or something. Man, but you, you've seen the guys that track their 8.6s in Japan. Yeah, dude. They always it's have like this. Suit, exactly. Well, super aggressive front stance. Well, oh yeah, you have uh, lower control arms. Yeah, right. yeah. The, I have the uh, yeah, the can... flows ones. So they're actual like heim joint to the subframe and an actual ball joint in the front, like OEM style. And it's it's pretty nice, dude. I mean, no complaints. It doesn't feel like overly stiff or anything. So the the actual ball joints are greasable and everything. Okay. Yeah, I have some lower control arms too that 
I'll eventually install. Oh, adjustable too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Because I, I have uh, some OEM ones. If, uh, it would be perfect if somebody just extends them a little bit and, you know, mm -hmm. slaps them on. And that's about it. But since I got the adjustable ones, it's a little bit of a plus too. I can adjust whenever I want to. Yeah, I just raised it about an inch from the front and I think half an inch from the rear because it was a lot more dump before. And now I can finally get on the fucking alignment rack at my job, dude. <laughs> I don't have to pay $200 to do an alignment. Yeah, those hurt. <laughs> yeah, it hurt. That was the first time I paid for an alignment in years, dude. That was at Rudy's? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was like two... I think it was 250 dude, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. That was pricey, man. But yeah, you know, they did, a, they did a good job. They centered my rack and everything, so that's good. But from now on, I'll just be doing my own alignments. <laughs> Save myself some money. <laughs> <sighs> Time to clean up. Yeah. This is some more of that insulation that I have to put in. I have to take my whole... Because um, you have some of the one that I gave you, right? I think so. I have to take out the actually my whole interior part and insulate the front firewall. firewall. Yeah, that's what I should probably do again. Yeah. Because uh, it's during the summer, it's not enough, dude. It gets super hot. Oh, yeah. With the 100 plus degree weather here and <laughs> the uh, high-rise headers that <laughs> But it actually reduced a lot with all the the, the, the shielding that I've yeah, been I see. Like a lot, dude. I you used to see. <laughs> be cooked up in there, man. But yeah. No complaints with the car, man. It drives great. Yeah. Just have to work on the tune a bit because, uh, yeah. Mm. That and that's about it, honestly. I mean, there's there's no other real complaints about it.